Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Cedric G and welcome to another tutorial video. In today's video, I'll be actually talking about Construct 3. It's a free game engine unless you decide to purchase the premium version, which I have, but it's not required for this tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is just going to be how to start your project with a basic 2D platformer and you don't understand how simple it is. This tutorial will not require any coding. However, if you do want to go a lot more advanced in the future, you will be able to use uh, the JavaScript that is supplied with this game engine. So the first thing you're going to do is either search Construct 3 unless you already have it open like I do and you're just going to click on their website and you're just going to click launch Construct 3. I already have it here so I can just close these two windows and what you're going to do is your one's going to be white I just have dark mode on you do have to have the premium version to have dark mode but it's not required obviously you're going to click new project and on new projects you're going to set up all your values here so we're going to make a landscape game which is 16 to 9 ratio and the recommended size so that it fits most screens is 1600 by 900 and that's um, we can also click optimize for pixel art uh, unless you're not going to do pixel art but I am so that's the best thing to do uh, name for your project it can be anything so I'm just going to do tutorial project um, and other than that you can just click create and your project will start for you it's very fast unless maybe you have a very slow computer or slow internet access and right here you have your project and the first thing we're going to do is click on the top folder here where your project's name is so for me it's tutorial and you're going to click on that and we're going to configure a few things uh, we're going to scroll down to where it says full screen mode and we're going to click on that and it's going to give us a drop down menu and you're going to click scale inner and that will mean that when you play the game it scales your game to the full windows just give it a second it's the first time it's loading up yeah there you go so as you can see it, the gray part will scale no matter uh, how big your screen is and if we make it smaller it will still be scaling okay okay so what are we gonna do now the first thing I recommend is renaming your layout but I'm not gonna do that because actually yeah we'll do that if you click on it and you click uh, F2 uh, and you click I don't know uh, level 1 Let's just, let's just call it level one and this is going to be our event sheet but we're actually going to call it our game sheet because we're only going to use one event sheet for this simple game and we're also going to go into level one and actually no we're going to go into tutorial first and we're going to copy this the viewport size i'm going to click control copy or well, control c and you're going to go back into level one and where it says size just paste that in there you go and now you have just this window it, this is not required but it makes uh, just cleaner okay so what we're gonna do now we're gonna click on layer 0 and we're gonna go to background color let's just make that white so it's much easier to see and on the free version you can't have I think don't think you can have multiple layers but because I can I'm just gonna create a layer on top called game and I believe you might be able to make one layer and I'm gonna click on layer 0 click F2 and click background So I believe you might be able to make one extra one. So your one extra one should be game and you should have background. So now on your screen, you're going to right click and you're going to click create new object. And we're just going to type in sprite. And this is going to be our player. So just going to paste our player and this is what's going to pop up. It's like your little menu. And let me just show you a few things that you can do here. I would recommend exploring this in your own time. I might make a video explaining all of these if you guys want me to. I don't mind. But yeah, I'm just going to say the basic things that we need. And the first thing we're going to do is click this little button that says resize. And we're just going to change our size to about 16 by 16 pixels. And click OK. So now we're going to create our player. Because this is just a tutorial, we're not actually going to create a player. I'm just going to select a color here. And I'm going to click this fill in tool. And just click on that. And just click X. And now we have our player. We can scale it up here. So we made it 16 by 16, which is what I recommend for pixel art, uh, little little characters, you can go higher. And we're going to resize it to 32 by 32, so we're going to just double the size so it's a bit bigger. And now we're going to right click on the screen again and we're going to create another object. And we're going to click Sprite again. Uh, going to select where we want to put it, and we're going to put it there. Now we're going to make our platform. And because we're not actually going to create art for this, we don't need to change the size. We're just going to make our platform black so it's easy to see on the white background. I'm going to click the fill tool, we're going to click on there and then we can just exit out of that and now we can just size this up and this will be our platform and that's how easy it is to make one platform and if we want to make another platform you go to your little file manager here 
and also we're going to rename it before we do anything else so we're going to click f2 on uh, on our platform sprite and we're just going to do platform and then on our player sprite we can just do f2 and we can make it player and then we're going to click on our platform and we can drag it in and we can just create another one so let's make a platform right here so now we're going to click on our player because our player if you do play the game let's just play it real quickly as you can see, nothing happens. When I click my movement buttons, which is usually W, A, S, D, R, arrow keys, nothing happens. So what we need to do is give these these give these give items properties. So we're going to click on our player over here, and we're going to go here, and we're going to scroll down to behaviors, and we're going to edit behaviors, I'm going to add new behavior, and if you scroll down, you're going to have eight movement direction. Actually, no, not sorry, we're going to click platform, because we're creating a platform or not an eight direction game. So we're going to click platform, and we're going to click add. And then here you can change the speeds and stuff. Uh, I won't mess with that now. We can mess with it later. And also, if you want to, you can also enable double jump. So if we do play the game now, you can see that our player now has gravity, but he falls through the platform. So that's another problem. We now need to click on our platform, and we need to add another behavior for a platform. And now we're going to add solid, and click uh, double click that, or click add, and exit out of that. And now if we click play. As you can see, our player drops to the ground, and we can use our arrow keys to move our player. And as you can see, we can jump from platform to platform. But we want WASD movement, and possibly we can add space movement as well. So we're actually going to create custom movement. So if we click on our player again, and where it says default controls, just turn that off. And now we can go to our game sheet. It's going to be the first thing we do. We're going to click add event for our player. Uh, actually, before we do that, I forgot to do that. We're going to have to right click on here and click create new object. And we're going to type in keyboard. So we're going to add keyboard support and we're going to click insert. And it's just going to be added in here. You're not going to see anything here. And now you're going to click add event. And we're going to add keyboard. Key is down. And then for our first key, we're just going to go W. And we're going to click OK. W. And then we're going to click on player. I'm going to scroll down to where it says our platform movement and we're going to go and find where is it where is it Simu simulate control and because we clicked w we're going to cl cl uh, click jump so that's going to be a jump and then we can just click on that whole thing and we can control copy control c and then just paste it three times for the three keys that we're going to use and we're going to change this to a for left i'm going to click double click on this i'm going to click change it to left done I'm going to double double click on this and change it to D, click OK, click done, and then double click on this again, and then we're going to do right. So now if we play the game, we can see that now we can use WASD to move our player. And now we're also going to add space. So what we can do is on here, we can right, right click on this, and we're going to click add another condition, and we can do it with keyboard. It's the wrong one. If keyboard, I'm going to do key is down. Uh, no, now we're going to do key on pressed. Actually, yeah, key is down, key is down. Uh, and we're going to do spacebar and click OK. So just click, when you click on this, just click the button that you want to do. So if we want E, e W, whatever. Well, we're going to do space, click OK. I'm going to click down. And now you're going to click on this whole function on the side here. You're going to right click and make all block. So whether this or this is pressed, this will happen. So now if we enter and play our game. When I click my space button, it jumps. And when I click W, it also jumps. Okay, so we have a basic platformer now. Uh, what if we want to ch in between, go in between levels? So we want to go from this level, this is our level one, and we want to go to level two. You can go on layouts, and you can do create new layout. So let's just add layout only. I want to call it level two. And then on level two, we're just going to go, once we click on it, we're going to go to event sheet. We're going to click a uh, game sheet, which is our main game sheet, which we're going to use for all our levels. And then we also want to go on tutorial again. We're going to click, uh, go to where it says viewport. We're going to copy that. And then we're going to go to level two. And then we're going to go to size. And we're going to paste. And we're going to paste that in. And then click enter. And then we have the same effect here. Okay, so now we also want to go to our layer. 
we're going to go to color and we're going to go to white and because most of you are probably going to be on a free version there's a chance you might not be able to make another layout so i'll go back to how you can make uh um, I'll touch upon how we can make multiple levels on one layout but at that point if you want to go that advanced I do recommend buying it it is a bit expensive if, if you don't have much money but this is a really good game engine so okay so back to our level 2 I'm going to click on our level 2 double click it or click uh, on here and we're going to rename this to our background and we're going to right click it layer on top yeah. and if you're on the free version just skip these steps like create layer and create new level and we're literally just going to drag in our player we're going to drag in a platform and we're going to drag in another platform right here and then let's drag in another platform so we can clearly see that this is a new level and then on here on our back on level one we're going to right click create new object sprite and let's make it blue or slightly purplish i'm going to place that in let's just resize that let's double click on that actually double click on it to edit again and we're going to resize it to 16 by 16 oh 16 by 16 and we're going to click OK and we're going to place this here and this is going to be our like coin that you need to collect to go on to the next level so if we go click on this again and click F2 to rename it we can do let's just call it coin okay so now we can go back to our game sheet and we can add another event and we can go uh, player on collision with another object and then let's click and choose our ob object so if, it, if our player collides with object coin we're going to add an action and we're going to go to system and we're going to go to layer so let's find that go to layout and we're going to go to level two so now if we play our game and we jump and we click that as you can see we're now in our next level and that's really how you make a simple platformer it is dead easy and if you want any more tutorials on constructs free please let me know and i'll make any tutorial that you wish uh, this is really easy like i cannot explain how easy it is to start a game if you do want to go more complicated you can add uh, functions you can add proper scripts which uses javascript uh, I don't recommend that for new player, uh, for new people. Uh, you can also click uh, G to make groups. So let's say movement. And we're going to click OK, and then you can drag all your movements. So you can just highlight all of that, holding down Control, place that into movement, and then you can close that. So you can have like little groups uh, to make your code look much better. I'm unsure whether you can do that in a free version. As far as I know, you can. Uh, other than that, I think that's all you need to know to make a simple platformer game. It is dead easy, like. It, it just can't be easier than this if you ever wanted to get into game making and you don't want to jump into the deep end coding uh, then this really is for you and when you do want to try javascript it is dead easy as well it is a really easy programming language to learn it's very self-explanatory and there's many tutorials online for that as well and i might make some tutorials myself later on but anyway my name is audrey hd if you want any more videos please make sure to leave a like and subscribe uh, if you do want some help as well, I did, I'm did. i not sure if I mentioned this at the start of the video, but I do have a Discord where I'm going to do support and help for people who are struggling with any of my tutorials or want any extra help on, for example, Python or this programming uh, on this game engine. So anyway, make sure to leave a, subscribe, uh, leave a like and subscribe, maybe even leave a comment saying how quick this video was and bye-bye.